Hawks fans, it is confirmed. Nate McMillan is now your current head coach. That's right. He is no longer interim head coach. He is head coach Nate McMillan of the Atlanta Hawks. I have a quote right here from Nate McMillan. I'm going to read it real quick. He says, and I quote, I'm truly blessed to be able to lead a special group into the future. I believe what we accomplished this season is just the beginning of what we can achieve if we stay connected and committed to each other. And overall, Nate, um, McMillan, he led Atlanta to a 27-11 and record Eastern Conference Finals appearance as the interim coach this year. And he is no longer the interim coach. And I do have a quote right here from uh, general manager Travis Schlenk. He said, and I quote, the incredible job Nate did after taking over this season made this an easy decision. We were able to see how gifted a tactician, motivator, and leader he is firsthand and the high level of respect and trust he earned from our players made securing him as our head coach, our top priority. And yeah, overall, I mean, it was a great playoff run. I think that definitely did help. You know, I mean, they ended up defeating the New York Knicks. From there, they ended up eliminating the 76ers. And then they ended up going six games with the Bucs, but ended up getting eliminated in the finals. But Nate McMillan, again, he is a very, very promising head coach in Atlanta. And he's shown that Atlanta is a very, very promising team. Obviously, we knew Trey Young was a very good player, but I always felt like Trey Young was underrated before Nate McMillan got there. But when he got into these playoffs, Trey Young was ice cold. He was ice cold. And obviously, he had a couple of bad games with the Milwaukee, against the Milwaukee Bucks. But overall, Trey Young was absolutely an ice tray. It was as simple as that, you know? Uh, guys like John Collins and Clint Capella were able to show off their abilities too. Uh, guys like Kevin Herter really did step up in some games. So overall, when I looked at it, Nick McMillan showed how good of a coach he really was, especially when Trey Young got hurt. You know, when Un had to start and guys like Lou Williams had to start, it really showed how good of a coach Nate McMillan was when he didn't have his star player there and he was still able to do, still able to get wins, you know? So I got to give him a lot of respect for that. But overall, I look at it and I think this is definitely a great hire. You know, I definitely think this was an easy decision. Like, like uh, Travis Lank said, this is a very easy decision. I mean, look what he's done for your team. Now, the question is, can he do this consistently? That is the question. Okay, is this one good year or is this going to be the Atlanta Hawks as we see them throughout time? And I hope that is what we, you know, obviously, like I'm a Bulls fan there in the East, but the Atlanta Hawks is a very talented team. You know, they're a very, very young team as well. And I do believe they got time on their side. It's as simple as that, you know. And I believe that once, I believe like another extra player, another star could definitely help them, you know. So overall, there really isn't a lot to say about this. Congratulations to Coach McMillan. Again, I wish him the best of luck with the Atlanta Hawks. As the Atlanta Hawks, I wish them the best of luck as well. And we'll see what happens next year.